Good morning and welcome back to Asgard. Um, so today we are going to, well we finally reached the culmination of all of our preparing and everything and we are going to attack the Chaos Dragon. Um, I've actually went ahead and saved a slot here, Chaos Time. It's right outside of a Chaos Dragon's island. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to quickly go over what all I've got prepped for the fight, and we're going to make one additional thing that's really going to come in handy. Um, one thing that I do suggest, anytime you go fight the Chaos Dragon, to take a few of these with you. So, first off, we've got um, the full Draconic set, and I've got um, Soulbound Protection 4, Projectile Protection 4, Blast Protection 4, and Fire Protection 4 on all pieces. <clears throat> Um, so those are fully enchanted. Um, as far as jewelry goes, I made some adjustments. We have a Tainted Blood Pendant with Regeneration 2 in there. We've got the Ring of the Azure. We've got a Charged ring, uh, ring of Shielding from Thalmcraft. So um, this one, it's a little bit, it's normally a Ring of Shielding is plus 5, this is plus 4, but... Um, it gives us a 25% increase to the speed at which our uh, runic shield charges back up. <clears throat> and then I just have the standard uh, girdle of runic shielding. I didn't feel like the knockback was that important for the Chaos Dragon. Um, so I just went with the extra one point of runic shielding on that. Um, and then I've got my wand, which I need to put Resolute Ivy on that, actually. Um, let me do that really, really quick. No, not redstone. I'm, I don't know. That just was automatic. Like, let's put in redstone. Um, do I have... I think, actually, I think I've got it in the golden bag here. Because I know I made some extra... Resolute Ivy. No. No, I didn't. Okay. Let's go... Let's go over here. Maybe it's in this chest. I'm going to take a look. Um, I could have swore I made extra... No. No, maybe I didn't. Okay, well, we'll craft some. It's not that... <clears throat> it's not that difficult to craft it, so... Alright. And let's get... Oh, I need some uh, pixie dust. Let me get... Mana pearl. No. No, no, no. I was wanting that in my inventory. Okay. Um, but that way, just in case, if we do die, we don't lose our wand. Um, you know, just to be on the safe side. Okay. And let's get that done. There's a loot. Ivy. And let's put that with our wand. There we go. Um, and then I have the Draconic Staff of Power. I've pretty much kept it the same. I've got Sharpness 5, Looting 3, Soulbound 1, Reaper 4, and Fortune 3. Um, the bow, I have Infinity 1, Flame 1, Multi-Shot 4, uh, Power 5. Now the Multi-Shot 4, I haven't noticed it really multi-shotting. Um, <clears throat> Which, yeah, that's just one arrow. Yeah, that's just one arrow. Um, so, I almost think it doesn't work on the Draconic Bow, which is kind of sad because it, it was a little bit expensive. Um, it took a hundred levels of experience. Um, however, I will say that um, that platform that we built out for um, doing the pseudo-division ritual um, a couple episodes back... It spawns so many Endermen. Like, if we look here, I've got nine Ender Souls um, steel. And I, I farmed the Ender Dragon a lot. So it does produce a lot of Endermen, and you get a lot of XP. <clears throat> um, but anyway, and then we've also got uh, the Fruit of Grisaia. We've got the Key of the King's Law. And we have a couple flasks of shielding from Batania with Absorption 4. Um, so I think those will come in handy. And then I also upgraded us so we've got seven green hearts now. Um, I just, 
I got tired of killing the Ender Dragon. I'll if we have some issue or something. I I really don't see the three green hearts making that huge of a difference. Um, but let's see. And then also as far as armor and weapons go, um, I'll quickly show you what I have in here. I've got um, plus two on all three things for all three pieces of armor. Um, so we have, you know, a bit more RF capacity. We've got a bit more shield capacity and some shield recovery. Um, and then the staff, I have um, nine on attack damage. So we have a 260 attack damage on the staff right now, plus the sharpness and everything. Um, so quite a bit. Um, attack AOE, I've just got a plus one, so we have a seven by seven. Um, and then the R of capacity, I have plus two on that. Um, and then the bow, I have uh, two on base damage. And then I have uh, one on arrow velocity, one on draw speed, which is one on draw speed is the maximum. And if you notice, the draw speed is 0.1 second. So um, I do suggest, regardless, you make sure and get that because normally the draw speed is 1.1 second, um, and you do that, and you know it's just a 0.1. It's almost instantaneous. <laughs> and then um, two on the RF capacity. So that pretty much covers all of that. Now let's quickly craft um, one thing that's going to be really, really, really handy for us. So actually, I should come over here. Let's get ourselves a couple of these Draconic Flux Capacitors. So to craft these, we're going to need quite a few things here. Um, we are going to need Wyvern Flux Capacitors. So let's, let's see, let me, let me go ahead and craft, oh, I don't, I, I need Nether Stars. I, don't, I didn't even think about getting more Nether Stars. Okay, let me... Let me go get some of them real quick, which isn't really an issue, but um, yeah. So give me just a second. I'm going to get a few nether stars, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, welcome back. Um, I decided better yet, let's just set up a timer, um, and let's actually adjust it to like a seven seconds, and that way, yeah, we don't even need seven. We'll go with like five seconds um, that way you can just make the uh, nether stars for us while we get to crafting um, I did go ahead and get a few of them made though so all right so let's go ahead and craft I believe this takes a awaken core because I'm just gonna automate it so we can request a few of them and let it go so we'll need some wyvern cores and wyvern energy cores uh, we've got no, we've got Draconic Cores. Let's get Wyvern Cores. And the Wyvern Energy Cores. Let's get Draconic Energy Cores. Oh, I should have made those first. Because they're just going to consume what I just made. That and that. Go, 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 go. Alright. That. And that. Okay, and let's, <clears throat> let's see, let's tell it, um, let's look at Draconic, and we're going to teach it to make the Wyvern Flux Capacitor, and I don't recall which one of these we're on, this one somewhere, yeah, right here, okay, and wyvern and basically if you're not familiar with these the way these work is they're similar to the uh, oh uh, capacitors what are they called uh, yeah the capacitors from um, uh, like thermal uh, thermal foundation thermal tools whatever one it is you know, it's one of the thermal expansion uh, mods that adds the capacitors, um, and you can activate them and uh, basically recharge stuff that's in your hotbar and like equip to you and stuff. And let's see, is it awaken? No, it's draconic. There we go, draconic flux capacitor. Let's get like, can we get like four of these? Uh, no, we need. 
Zirconium dust. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, let me... <laughs> let me go get some more Draconium. Really, really quick. And, um... Yeah. And, uh... I'll show you just really, really quickly. It's kind of a prelude here. Look at this. We are at a Chaos Dragon spot. Um, but anyway, I'll be back in just one second. Okay, welcome back. So we've got all of that ready. Um, I've got like a hundred and something dust. And we'll just really, really quickly get this melted. And it'll only take a second. Um, and let's see, I'll throw that in there. Um, you'll also notice that our mana mirror is keeping up. Um, well, it's not right now because we got that. I've noticed it's it's still really delicate, um, mainly because Ring of the Azure takes quite a bit of mana. Um, honestly, but I did up update our uh, mana system a little bit so that our mana mirror stays filled. So let's get these. How many did I try to make? Was it four that I tried to make? Yeah, I guess so. We'll get those. Um, and four is, I mean, that's, you're talking, that's a lot of, um, RF storage. You're talking about a billion RF, but the thing about the, um, Chaos Dragon is his attacks drain the energy from your weapons. I mean, your weapons and armor. Um, and so that's one of the biggest issues I feel like that people have with him is him just, he'll eat through your... Um, you know, your weapons and armor if you're using RF, and almost everybody uses RF. Um, however, if you went in there with, say, like, um, uh, some of the armor or something from, like, Blood Magic, um, I think that would probably be a little bit more viable in that aspect. Of course, there's not Blood Magic in this pack, but, um, you know, something without RF, you would have that benefit of not being drained from him, but... Uh, you know, Draconic Armor is pretty much ideal for him. It's built for him, um, you know, because it's so, so powerful. So, uh, um, but I'm going to get this this last one crafted, and I'm going to get these charged up because they are going to take a minute to charge. So, uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, welcome back. So, we now have uh, four of these all charged up and ready to go. So I'm going to put, I think the way I'm going to lay it out is I'm going to have like our fruit here and a few of these actually, this, okay, and we got our death protection pop it in the event that we need it. Now hopefully this is enough preparation though that we're not going to need all that, but we shall see. Um, and then the last thing that I want to do is let's... Um, do I want... Actually, I think 200 is probably good for uh, the boss. <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's do this. Let's do this shit. Um, <laughs> it's always... To me, it's always really kind of scary um, when you go to fight the Chaos Dragon. Because things can go horribly wrong so fast. Um, but let's go ahead and get one of these activated so that, uh, you know, when it comes time. Actually, let me make one more adjustment before he gets aggroed here. I want to set this to 7x7 seven seven and 7 depth. Um, that way, whenever I dig, it's just going to clear out that whole area so that we can get it with bows. Um, because what happens is... These are, well, never mind, we one-shot them. That's great. Cool. Um, because what would normally happen if we didn't one-shot this? Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! Uh, <laughs> um, what would happen? He's pissed. Um, what would happen is, um, they would... Shit, shit! Ugh. He goes ham whenever you start busting these, and when we're busting them that fast, he's pissed. 
about it. Um, now what would normally happen, <laughs> anyway, uh, I've been trying to get that out for a little while now, is um, they would become immune to damage for a little while, and you'd have to kind of come back, I think it's like, oh shit, that hurt. Let's activate this one too. Go, go, go. God. <laughs> God, he is pissed right now. He's like a damn machine gun going through here. Ow, oh, stop it! He's immune to damage, by the way, until you break all of his pillars, so... Shit. Yeah, I don't think the, uh... I think I should've went with the faster... Oh my god. Stop it! I can dance all day! No, 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 no! Oh my god! He is just non-stop right now. Okay, he's slowing down. <laughs> I think he was like so pissed because we were killing him so fast. Nope, he's, he's at it again. All right. Alright, we are back on track now. And let's see, we haven't got this one. Shit. Man. And if you notice my little energy bar down there, it, it drops. Um, pretty heavy when he starts laying into me. And this is just like the first phase, too. That's the craziest thing. Oh, I forgot to even actually drink that. That might help a little bit. I'm assuming that it'll absorb some of the damage. Not entirely sure, but I figure why not. We might as well. Oh, God. Gotta go charge up here. All right. What is it? Oh my god! Oh my god! We are low on health! We are low on health! Oh my god! So much damage right there! Warning critical damage! <laughs> Stop it! Oh my god! Oh! Well we had a death protection pop it! Let's get out of here for a second! I'm going to... Shit! 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 Damn it! He's still coming! <laughs> He's like, I wanna get you! Alright. <laughs> Stop flying after me! I just wanna get my, my flight speed up. Alright, I'm gonna try this. Oh god, no not! No not! No not! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Okay, let's do this! 600% let's go <laughs> I should have bumped that up in the first place but I was like well that might be too fast but no we need it we need it okay I think we've almost got all the pillars actually destroyed yeah it looks like we do have all those destroyed so and really I think if we can get to where we can damage them we can probably do a lot of damage. I'm just going to try to do like flybys here. I think I got that one. I think. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey! Hey, buddy! Oh, shit. Critical damage. You're really... <laughs> meleeing those is probably not an ideal thing to do because uh, if you notice, like, I kind of take damage. I should probably bow these ones down, but... Stop it. It's kind of kind of hard to aim when you're going this fast. Oh, 
Ah, eat shit and die. There we go. Is that all of them? Is that all of them? Oh shit. I think, I want to say that that's all of them. No. There's one somewhere around here. Because I saw that beam. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, we're doing damage. Okay, good. So, really, one of the hardest parts is done. Now, as we damage him, um, we have to watch out because his his um, beacons can come back to life. And, of course, he's immune when beacons are up. God! Ah! Just machine gun fight here. Okay, um, I want to say, is any beacons up right now? Maybe not. Alright. No, 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 no. Oh shit, <laughs> just landed. Okay. Where are you going? There we go. Alright, he's almost down to half health. Well. Alright. I think our melee weapon's like the best bet on him because it does a lot of damage because this guy has a ton of health by the way God. all right he's got a one of those up God. let's get some more resistance up All right, he's he's getting down, and this is a long fight. So, all right, where did he go? Hey, hey, come here, come here! Stop it! God, we both fly, fly so fast it's like hard to keep up with him. Like where he's at? Yeah, come on. If I can just get on him and stay on him. But he'll do like a turn and then I just go zooming through, like past him. Oh, we've got a... We must have a beacon up somewhere, I think. No, we don't. Okay. I thought I hit him and it didn't do any damage, but I guess not. Okay. Come on, asshole. Ha -ha! I need you. I need you. Okay, come on. Ah, one more hit should do it. One more good solid hit. Come on, come on. Ah, no, no. Okay, maybe there's a beacon. But I don't see any beams coming out, so. Firing those dim. Alright, let's see. There's got to be a beacon up, because I can't... There it is. Right? No? That's not it. Well, shoot. Come back here. Shit! Shit! Alright. Yeah, there's got to be a beacon up. But I cannot, for the life of me, figure out which one it is. Is it up top here? Let's see. Or 
Do I just suck so much that I can be up on him and not hit him? Alright. Shit. See, I don't see anything. Just shoot these things everywhere. Oh, there we go. We got him. Now we do. Shit. <laughs> well, we got him. Okay, welcome back. Um, so we did kill him. Um, <clears throat> I do believe, but uh, with his dying breath. He killed us and crashed the game. So, fun times. Um, but let's teleport back over there. And we will... We will head back to where we died. And... Nope, he's not dead. I lied. Holy shit. Damn it. Okay, um, a lot of our stuff I forgot to, um, I forgot to, uh, uh, give it so that we, it, we keep it when we die, so, why you know die? There we go. Now he's dead. And now he's gonna stay dead. Alright. And he has crashed into the center. Alright. Now let's get our items back. Um. Really, 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 really quick. No, no, no. Forgot I don't have my ring of magnetism on, so we just lost some things. Oh, well, it looks like it's probably mostly trash. Because we got all of our draconic flux things, we've got all of most everything. And we got our dragon heart. We should have gotten two dragon hearts. Unless they changed that. Maybe it was changed. I don't know. But I think that's everything. I think so. Um. And. Yeah. So, now that we've killed him, let's burrow down, like right in here ish. That should be close enough. Because where he crashes in, I believe, is the center. Maybe not. It's not. Let's see. Should be right in here. I should think. Okay, there we go. Anyway, let's get mega levels. <laughs> Alright, so we are up to a lot of levels. 226 XP levels. And this is the uh, Chaos Crystal core of the uh, um, Chaos Island. And there's also this Draconium Infused Obsidian. Um, this stuff is crap. Whoops. Uh, this stuff is craftable. So there's really no reason to gather that. But. Oh, this is what we want. Um, before we do this, 
let's set our size up and our dig depth up and let's let's dig out the ceiling here a little bit what the hell are you doing I just killed like the chaos dragon you can't do it can't do anything um, I thought we were gonna kill him without actually like dying dying <laughs> I know we used our death protection poppet there one time but anyway let's get this chaos crystal now when we break this we if you're wearing full draconium I believe you can survive it but honestly I suggest running <laughs> so you don't have a whole lot of time um, yeah, we should probably back up a bit more and you notice we got five chaos shards and any second now like I want to go over there just so I can show you guys <laughs> What's going to happen here? I'm surprised it hasn't done it yet. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. I can feel the screen starting to shake. Alright. Like, that's me sitting still. It's going like crazy. And I'll show you what happens. I think we should be able to survive it. <laughs> Maybe we'll chance it. Alright. Get ready for it. There we go. Yeah, if you notice the... Uh, we survived it. We took a little bit of damage there to our shields. But it pretty much destroyed the entire island that we were on. Um, you know, there's still like some little remnants of instone, but for the most part, that entire island has been destroyed. Now, um, I don't know if I mentioned it though. Um, you can find these islands at any uh, multiple of 10,000. Um, X and Y. So you can find it at 0, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, negative 10,000, 10,000, you know, any any multiples of 10,000. So, uh, to find those. But, yeah, it was a little bit shaky, but we did kill him. So, um, that's a plus. Now, if you want to make it easier, if you want to make it so it's a pretty much impossible to die on him... Um, a couple options that work extremely well is you can um, either enchant your gear with Last Stand and go in there with some levels and stuff to use for that. Um, that works fairly well. Um, but also another, another setup, um, and my personal favorite, and if you look at my... Uh, AE2 tips and tricks um, automation series. Um, I did a video recently on how to automate witchery so that it creates death protection poppets and keeps that field. Um, you can set that up and it's fairly easy to set up. Um, I've been doing videos showing how to automate all the witchery stuff um, and you can set that up to automatically produce death protection poppets and fill them into a poppet shelf. And if you do that, like, it's, there's not really anything in the game that can kill you, um, aside from, like, Real KC had mentioned, um, uh, if you get vampirism and go out in the sun, that could potentially kill you. But that's really about it. Um, the Chaos Dragon could kill you if you were just really dying. I mean, you'd have to be dying, like, once a second or something in order to, you know, actually actually die for good but uh, um, so if you want to make it easier those are two options that work uh, fairly well so um, anyway I just kind of wanted to make it a little bit more exciting for us than just set up death protection thing um, but if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know and um, I do believe I'm gonna end the episode out there I know it's running about 30 minutes now um, 
Next episode for tech stuff, we will be setting up a Draconic Evolution Reactor. Um, probably one of the best power gems um, ever. It's amazing. Um, it is kind of expensive to run and kind of expensive to build. Of course, you got to kill the Chaos Dragon to do that. But um, it will produce an immense amount of power. So um, I hope you guys join me for that. And um, uh, next, the next episode, which will be a magic episode, um, I don't know. Either we can do more witchery or we can get into V relays and stuff um, with Thomcraft. So if you guys have a preference, feel free to let me know down in the comments and I will take that into consideration because I'm open for witchery or Thomcraft. It's really just up to what you guys want. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, please comment, like, subscribe. It is very, very much appreciated. And until next episode, do take care and I hope to see you guys then.